Hey guys, I'm Viper and welcome to a brand new video and of course today is the European Grand Prix preview and I will quickly just say this, apologies that it's a day later than it should be uh, this is just because of the fact that E3 was on yesterday and I was watching all the press conferences but uh, yeah, enough about that, let's get into the European Grand Prix so the European Grand Prix, as I'm sure a lot of people know by now the circuit is set in Azerbaijan, uh, Baku or I think it's the other way around, Baku in Azerbaijan um, but uh, the circuit consists of 3.7 miles uh, in di you know in distance. Uh, the amount of race laps is 51 race laps. So, considering this is a brand new circuit, I have to admit this Grand Prix will be definitely one to be keeping an eye on. Now, obviously, I can't really give prediction on who I think is going to win. But obviously, it's a street circuit. In case nobody didn't know, um, in case anybody didn't know. Uh, it runs along some of the iconic landmarks that are in Azerbaijan, including uh, a castle and obviously through a couple of villages located within, obviously, uh, Baku. So, the track itself looks very, very, uh, I don't know, grid-like. Uh, there's a lot of 90 degree turns from the looks of the corners, but uh, in one particular section, uh, when you look at the actual map, uh, it's like a square. It kind of reminds me of the last few corners of Russia. Uh, along with the fact that you have that uh, in Russia, you have the, the sweeping left hander as you go through turn one, and to, you know you go through turn one, obviously turn two, it's a sweeping left hander, um, and then obviously you've got like the last few cars, as I mentioned before, which are of course like 90 degree angles and so on. So the race itself is hard to predict on who's going to win this one. This was really hard to predict for me personally. I think that. We're definitely going to be seeing a fight between Ferrari and Mercedes. We're definitely, we were guaranteed that back in Canada just a few days ago. So, definitely for sure, Ferrari are definitely one to watch for this race. I, that's a first for me saying that, because I honestly don't think that Mercedes, usually when it comes to new tracks, or old tracks becoming green better on the calendar, such as Austria two years ago and Mexico last year, it seems to be Rosberg's forte, shall we call it. Uh, where he tends to be quite good at tracks that are old coming on as new ones so obviously we've had Austria come on two years ago and he's won both races since then and also we've had Mexico come on and again he won that race so I can easily see Rosberg winning this but personally I think this will be a fight and I will say this it will be a fight straight up between Mercedes and Ferrari and maybe Red Bull possibly but mostly me Mercedes and Ferrari the drivers of those two teams you might ask Sebastian Vettel and of course Nico Rosberg now the reason why I don't say Lewis Hamilton is because I don't think he's got a chance of winning I'm not saying he can't win because he probably could but I honestly believe when it comes to street circuits Rosberg and Vettel tend to have the upper the upper hand so it's going to be very very interesting to see uh, who's going to come out on top of this race now obviously in practice, they'll obviously be studying the track and getting used to it. Uh, the track itself, if anyone hasn't seen it, I would advise to look at a few pictures of the circuit. There has been a few posted on social media. Uh, and from what I've seen of the track, it looks quite nice, actually. The atmosphere and everything, you know, where it's located, it's in a very nice location. Um, that's for sure. And obviously, with all the big skyline buildings around it, it just makes it that much more special or spectacular. Um, however, with the racing, this is going to be kind of hard to say whether it will be good or bad, so we'll obviously have to see. Personally, I think we could have some good racing, but that's if, you know, the cars allow it to be good and the drivers allow it to be good. Um, if it's something like, if it's going to be like Formula E, then it does look like Formula E track, to be fair. If it's going to be like Formula E, then great, because then we'll see plenty of overtakes and plenty of action. But then again, we've seen plenty of action this year, to be honest. So, this year, this race should be a good one. Just make sure you keep an eye on it. I apologise for blowing on too long, but you obviously want to know what my predictions are. I'm going to say that for Paul, this is difficult to say, but Rosberg for Paul. Uh, for the winner, that's going to go to Sebastian Vettel. I'm going to say, so Vettel wins from Nico Rosberg. In third place, we're going to have the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton with um, Daniel Ricciardo in fourth. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen in 5th. Now if I went from like 6th to 10th, it'd be like Verstappen, Perez, Button, 
uh, Sainz, and then probably for 10th place, Hulkenberg. That's my predictions. Like I said, leave your predictions down in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Vibrace, and you guys have been awesome watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra!